Welcome to a GemLab Quick Tip, where we quickly go over a specific solution to a problem or setting you may not know about. This one is all about the various ways to play back or move around a timeline or a clip. Now I think we all understand the two very basic tools for this, one being the spacebar which allows you to play in the window you have selected, and the second one clicking and dragging the playhead manually, which will move its position and therefore what you see in here. However, these may not always give you the precision you want or may not be as quick as you want them to be. So here are some tips. First off, we're gonna talk about zooming. In this case, we aren't talking about zooming into an image, but rather zooming into the timeline or play bar. You can use the zoom tool for this, but even better is to just hold the alt or option key and use your scroll wheel or the scrolling motion on a trackpad to zoom in and out. This can allow you to make more precise selections or scrub at a slower rate. For serious precision, you can use the left and right arrow keys. These will allow you to move frame by frame, either forwards or backwards. To move quickly over edits or entire clips, use the up and down arrow keys, which will jump you forward or backwards through the edits on your timeline. If you're in the source viewer where you preview clips, the up arrow will move you to the start of the clip and the down arrow will move you to the end. If you've already placed in and out points in the source viewer, it will also shift between these as it does so. On the timeline, up and down arrows will move from edit to edit on active tracks, tracks where the V number is highlighted in blue. Active tracks are also used for other functions in Premiere, such as designating what track to put things on if you are copy and pasting. For most functions, Premiere focuses on the lowest selected video track or the highest selected audio track, but for movement it will work with all tracks that are currently enabled. But if you want to move between all edits on all tracks, just hold down the shift key and use those up and down arrow keys. Lastly is one that can be pretty useful but is not very intuitive. If you want to reverse your playback, i.e. rewind as you watch, you can hit the J key. This will play your image and sound in reverse, and can be stopped by hitting the spacebar as normal, which can be useful if you notice something you just want to get quickly back to. This function is a bit more user-friendly if you assign it to the combination of shift and spacebar. For more information on that, check out an upcoming quick tip on keyboard shortcuts. And that's it. Now you're well equipped to get yourself moving in any way you need to in Premiere. If you found this useful, give it a like or hit the subscribe button for more tutorials. Until next time, good luck with all your editing projects.